I want my audience to know that Dr. Raj Chopatia, he's an associate professor at the Rosalind Franklin University in Chicago Medicine School, Medical School. Dr. Chobatia, we're here to talk about a certain kind of dermatitis and why it's a stigma, ar- stigma around it. Tell us about that. That is correct. So seborrheic dermatitis, or sebderm is another name that it goes by, is a chronic and quite common recurrent inflammatory condition of the, of the skin. And so really, that inflammation manifests in a couple of common ways. So we think about this condition being associated with red patches, that are oftentimes covered with large, greasy, flaky yellow scales and persistent itch. And this involvement is in very characteristic and highly visible areas typically. So this includes the scalp, hairline, the eyelids, the cheeks, the beard region, the neck, and even the chest and back. A lot of areas where we oftentimes have concurrent hair growth. And this is what connects to the stigma question that you raised. The idea that there's highly visible symptoms of this disease lead to a lot of social stigma, negative self-image, and low self-esteem among patients. And the interesting thing is, you know, despite being such a common condition, it's believed at least 10 million individuals in the U.S. have seborrheic dermatitis, many don't recognize the symptoms, and therefore it can take years for somebody to seek out a healthcare provider and actually get a bona fide diagnosis. And that's why I'm excited to talk to you today and partner with Arcutis just to raise awareness for seborrheic dermatitis and talk about a new treatment option in the case of Zarif foam. Well, first, let me ask you, when a doctors nowadays are telling us we have a condition, there seems to be multiple conditions within that category. Am I correct in what I'm saying? Yeah, so oftentimes that word dermatitis, to tie it back together, can be a general term, but seborrheic dermatitis is the condition that we're obviously chatting about here today. Okay, so, okay, let's move on. What are some of the challenges in treating this seborrheic dermatitis? Yeah, so there's a few that come to mind based on, you know, my work with patients over the years. Oftentimes, historically, for managing this condition, we have to use multiple products for different lengths of time with different instructions on different parts of the body. It's a real mouthful and can get quite complicated. And particularly with hair-bearing areas that are affected by seborrheic dermatitis, Topicals like creams, gels, and ointments can just be downright difficult. And so historically, a lot of patients just haven't been satisfied with their treatment options. When you're talking about treatment, is there a cure for this? Another very poignant question. And I would say that, you know, uh, the, the most exciting bit to talk about today is actually sort of a treatment for the disease itself. One for the first time in 20 years that we have approved by the FDA that specifically is for the treatment of seborrheic dermatitis. And this is Zoriv foam or Reflumalast 0.3% foam. Approved for individuals nine and up. It's a once daily steroid-free foam that actually targets a specific source of inflammation that we think about with the disease itself. And it's actually safe for use across the body, all skin and hair types. And it's a water-based and fragrance-free formula with no common irritants as well. So really thinking about the patient in mind. When someone has the seborrheic dermatitis, what what uh, uh, suggestions would you give? Because obviously you have to live with this. Yeah. So I think the first one is mentioning some of those signs and symptoms that I talked about is really making sure that you partner with your healthcare provider. And if you see it and you feel it, just having that conversation with them. Number one, for at least addressing the symptoms and making the diagnosis so you can put a name to it, but also to partner to see if there is a treatment that's going to be right for you. And obviously we're chit-chatting about Zarif foam here today. Additionally, there's a lot of information that patients can seek out to, to really arm themselves appropriately, even before they get to a healthcare provider. And so Zareve.com, Z-O-R-Y-V-E.com is one place where they can get information about seborrheic dermatitis, as well as full prescribing information and important safety information for some of the points that I mentioned today about this treatment. And I'm going to take this question from Instagram because they listen and watch on different uh, medias. And the poster wants to know, there's a lot of treatment coming around for different types of conditions. 
but many are so expensive. Do you have an idea how ordinary people can afford the treatment? Good question. Thank you, both. Yeah, thanks for the question. It's a it's a complex and multi layered issue when thinking about healthcare in this country, right? In terms of sort of the the many different ways that we talk about the financial side of it. Obviously, a bigger issue than we have kind of time to get into. But I think from my perspective, I'm just really happy to be able to talk about a treatment that is really tailored towards the disease, the case of seborrheic dermatitis, that can really help to address the signs and symptoms that we think about with this condition. I want to thank you so much, Dr. Raj, for coming on the Valder BB Show to talk about this uh, condition that people obviously have an idea of what it is. And thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to youtube.com slash show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.